the year 2056. What will Victoria look like? Where will we live and work? We've looked at five different choices for Victoria's future development. Each choice affects our quality of life, our natural environment, and the infrastructure we will need. Let's explore the possibilities. One possibility, a vibrant, compact city where most people live in apartments or townhouses in central Melbourne. They have easy access to jobs, education and public transport. There's good use of infrastructure and land and a strong economy. But this living style is very different from what Victorians value now. There are fewer houses and we spend our time in parks instead of backyards. Now imagine we choose something different, a consolidated city. Melbourne's bustling centre is matched by three big, well-connected suburban hubs. Each with lots of jobs, services and activities. More people live in inner and middle Melbourne. And less land is needed for new homes and infrastructure. But what if Victoria continues to grow Melbourne outwards? Then we have a dispersed city. People travel long distances to access jobs, services and education. This causes road congestion, people have lower incomes and there's greater environmental impact. More people live in large homes in the outer suburbs with land used for housing instead of nature and agriculture. Another possibility is a network of regional cities where more people choose to move to centres like Geelong, Ballarat and Bendigo. Investment would focus on regional jobs and services like hospitals and schools. More people would choose to live in townhouses or apartments close to regional city centres. There's good local public transport and regional roads are busier. But what if people choose to scatter more broadly across Victoria? Country towns become hubs of activity. This means longer travel to work and education. But more people work from home, so there is less road congestion. People live in big houses on blocks of land, taking up natural habitat and farmland. And many more people are at risk from floods and bushfires. Victoria could take many different shapes in the next 30 years. Now is the time for Victorians to choose the future we want and the infrastructure we will need. We must plan today to shape how we live and work in the future. For more information, visit infrastructurevictoria.com.au.